Now currently have, we have only these four lines of data. So this is not uh, a big data, but generally when you call and you create a method like this show method, you will be modifying the data. You won't be simply uh, returning the object straight away. You might want some changes. So we are going to create a resource for this, for this particular uh, uh, method and then we are going to work on that. So what we do basically, I am going to open the code editor uh, terminal, sorry. And here I'm going to run a command PHP artisan make, and it's going to be resource. And it's going to be authors resource. And it creates a resource. Now, when it create a resource, it goes inside HTTP and next to the malware resources, we have authors resource. Now here we have a method where we have to array return uh, this. Now here we can change the things a bit. Now this request, we can pass here the data from here and uh, we can call this that resource here. So let's, let's do that. So I'm going to call that resource. So it's author, authors resource. All right, and here we are going to call it as a new class and going to pause here dollar author for now straight away. And then here I say return. Now we are calling this class here. So we need to include this class. So on top, we say use and it's going to be app and then it's going to be HTTP. It's going to be capital. And then we have the resource. All right, so we included it there and we are passing it straight away to here so we can access it there. So we go to the resource here now, and here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply, uh, I'm going to use the request. So I say here, dollar request for now. And we go to the postman and hit this again. And we get data, which is empty right now. So let's see. Now here, our request, if I say here, dollar this, and then I say name, go back to postman hit send well, we get the name so the same way if I uh, say created in the script so we will be getting that value so if I hit this so what we can do we can modify these values so what I do I simply say uh, let's create an array so we create an array and in this array, what we want to pass, we want to pass the name and the date. So we say name, and it's going to be as a string, and we're going to pass uh, here name. Now this name, because we have name field, and, and here I say created underscore add. Let's create an operation on this created underscore add. I want to make it human readable. So what I do, I use uh, carbon so what I did say we say carbon and then parse all right and we pass it like this because generally you will be doing it you will be modifying the data in some way in here we are modifying it this way just changing the date to just to demonstrate the purpose and here we are going to say So it should be all good now. So we should have data inside. Okay, it's in array, so we can add comma, not semicolon there. And we have we are using carbon, so we need to call it. So use carbon, carbon. All right, all good. Let's go to the postman. Hit again. Now you can see that this time we have name we have created at uh, 20 minutes ago. So you can see it's readable, it is converted.
from here and this is something we are doing successfully if you want more data or you have more data you can modify it according to your needs if you like the content of this channel and you want me to create more videos like this please support me on patreon you can also subscribe to this channel like this video and share with others thank you for watching